Ukraine is finding support all over the world, including right here in northeast Wisconsin. Dozens turned out for a rally in Green Bay, hoping to raise awareness about what's really happening in Ukraine. Those with a Ukrainian connection offer another view. Armed not with military might, but Ukraine's yellow and blue flag, these supporters in Green Bay are hoping to show their solidarity with the people of Ukraine. These types of support Ukraine rallies are happening all over the world, all over the world. There was Olga Haliberta, first-generation Ukrainian-American, still has family living in Ukraine. She organized this rally, bringing together Ukrainians and Americans. Haliberta says Russian President Putin hasn't fired a shot during his invasion of Ukraine, but his war has been fought with words and lies. So he's creating this propaganda, and by people believing it and repeating it, it it's empowering him. And so what we need to do is share the truth. Russians deny their armed forces are active in Ukraine's Crimean region, but dozens of military trucks have been seen transporting heavily armed soldiers. More reinforcements arrived this weekend. And unless we stand up as citizens, um, those lies can, can lead to um, greater takeover and what will become of truth and freedom. So supporters a half a world away spent part of their day standing up for Ukraine. Valentin Tereschenko moved to Green Bay from Ukraine 13 years ago. Being away from his homeland is tough. It's heartbreaking and uh, I, I just want to do something, you know, and uh, being here today, that's the biggest sign of support I can, I can show my, my family, my friends who still live out there. A recent poll out of Russia shows 73 percent of Russians do not agree with the invasion of Ukraine. Russian President Putin has set a March 16th referendum on whether Crimea should join Russia, a move President Obama calls a violation of international law.